the part that you have to do after you get recorded and when they make it into CD, well, that's what all the money costs. And now that record, they told me now, so 100,000 records, thanks to you all. Just here. Yeah. thing called a music business. <laughs> you know, people say, I heard something, I got chalky a little bit. Some, someone was like, yes, Steve, he had this very well laid out uh, business plan, and, 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 and uh, I'm going to tell you what the business plan was. Yeah. Business plan started making the record, and then I was just sitting around with that record, not the record, the recording, sitting around with a finger in my ear, and my friend Joe pushed me, called, pushed me, called me on the phone, what are you doing, Steve? I'm in my kitchen. He said, if you make any more music, yeah, I made some music, but if you know, ain't nothing. I said, it's just a, I recorded some songs in mono. You <laughs> what? Yeah, I go out there to mono. And all the people, you know you got two speakers like that for you young people. <laughs> in the old days, you only had one speaker, so everybody doesn't make songs as well one speaker. And he goes, boy, that was pretty dumb. <laughs> and then he showed it, and then we went over there, and I go, he goes, we got to put this, this thing out as a record. And I said, you do, do you? He said, that's good, we're going to put it out. I ain't know I'm going to put it out record by an old bum. And then Andy from Bronze Rat, he had a one-man record company with no money. He goes, I'll put it out. <laughs> I said, you ain't got no money. He goes, I'm going to borrow it. <laughs> and he printed it up. And we made it printed, like, I don't know, a thousand of them up or something like that. And a few weeks later, they say, oh, you're going to be on the Jules Publish. 